Hello and welcome. In this short video I would like to demonstrate uh, some further configuration and customization options for J River Media Center and also show you a minor version upgrade. Um, so let's start Media Center. Let's visit some of the options again. Tools options, um, library and folders. Revisiting the configure auto import, this box at the bottom of the screen um, has a scroll bar and if you scroll down you'll see one more option. Um, the fix broken links option, I leave this set to yes um, but I don't use uh, a NAS. My media files are on a local hard drive local to my media server um, if you run your um, if you store your media files on a NAS you probably want to turn this to no rather than yes because it stops media center taking action should you start it without your NAS being turned on and it will assume that the links are broken um, so you want to set it to no Another option that I got wrong was the a uh, uh, show a link checkbox. Um, I just in my previous video, on one of my previous videos, I just changed one of these, um, and it happens to be set per uh, tag or per field. So I just changed it for the first one, which was access rating. I don't want it set on access rating. I want to show a link checkbox for album, album artist, album artist auto, genre, and name. Another area that I didn't cover was general features. Um, general and under the, at the bottom is features. Here you can turn on or turn off um, different uh, aspects of J River Media Center. For example, I can turn off iPod support. I don't have an iPod. I can turn off TV. I don't use J River for TV. Uh, it does warn you that feature changes only take effect after restarting the program. So let's restart it. If we go to Tools, Options, General, Features, we'll see that TV is turned off and iPod support is turned off. Um, another configuration item, tools, options, startup interface, which is here, startup interface, location start, I change that to last location, and mode, I change that to last exit view, uh, so it just means that when I restart media center it just goes back to how I left it rather than going back to some sort of default configuration. So that effectively finishes off the configuration that I use for J River. One of the things I do on occasion is to see if there are any new versions. This is currently version 23.0.22. Let's see if there are any new versions. So under help, update channels, I'm currently on the stable recommended. Let's see if there are any updates. And down here we can see we're up to date. But if I change to the latest channel and check for updates it's telling me it's downloading. Uh, 
know, J River initially release an update to the latest build and then if it's been tested and deemed to be stable after a few days they'll move it into the um, stable this is later so this is a little early but we'll see that the update is available you click on that and an, up, an in place upgrade occurs there's no need to do a backup or restore for these upgrades as they are minor updates up as they are minor upgrades not major version changes and we'll see J Rivers come back and the version number has changed to 23.0.30. I'll put myself back onto the stable channel. I hope you found that video useful and thank you for watching.